Okay, thank you. Okay, Miss Helen, over to you. So our topic for today is kitchen garden activities. So as announced before, that you have to plant any kind of vegetables. So I want to over this station to SK St. Patrick, Malaysia, to present first. Um, sure. Thank you very much, Miss Helen, Yorifa, Teacher Taruna, Teacher Sangita, Teacher Jodi, and dear educators and dear students. Oh, wow. Well, we are so glad to meet all of you again after quite some time. Okay, without further ado, uh, let me welcome the presenters from SK St. Patrick, Priya Dashini, Akil, Hamizan, and we have two other present future presenters, Jaden and Chris. Over to you, Priya Dashini. Hi, I am Priya Dashini, the moderator for my group. Let me introduce our team from SK St. Patrick, Malaysia. They are Hamizan, Akil, and myself, Priya. We are thankful to Teacher Urifa for this golden opportunity given to us. I love gardening with my family members. I'm glad to share about climate change, the causes, effects, and solutions to be taken to stop climate change. My dear friends, what do you know about climate change? Climate change includes both human-induced global warming and its large-scale impacts on weather patterns. There have been previous periods of climate change, but the current changes are more rapid than any known events in Earth's history. Human activity is the main cause of climate change. People burn fossil fuels and convert land forests to agriculture. Burning fossil fuels produce carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. It is called greenhouse gas because it produces a greenhouse effect. The effect of climate change are there will be more frequent and intense drought, storms, heat waves, rising sea levels, melting glaciers, and warming oceans can directly harm animals, destroy the places they live, and wreak havoc on people, livelihoods, and communities. As climate change worsens, dangerous weather events are becoming more frequent and severe. The solutions are changing our main energy sources to clean and renewable energy. For example, solar, wind, geothermal, and biomass. We can also plant lots of different types of plants like moringa, such as inchi, pumpkin, dandelion, lady's finger, and many more. Our transport methods must be aligned with environmental requirements and reduce the carbon footprint. This project changed a lot to be aware and participate to stop climate change. I actively help my aunt to plant many plants as I'm showing in the slides. I specifically planted bean sprouts as part of the kitchen garden project. Hang on, Priya, the teacher will share screen. Uh, Buemi, would you please do the screen? Okay. It took me 10 days to harvest the bean sprouts. I just put some green beans on the soil and watered the seeds daily and left them under the sunlight. Then I saw the bean sprouts were growing tall until the last day I plucked all for my grandma to cook them with some garlic soy sauce. Fried bean sprout is so yummy to be eaten with some rice and salted fish. Okay, let okay. Here, fry monk bean sprouts or bean sprouts is an easy, healthy vegetarian dish without oyster sauce. The ingredients are two tablespoon oil, one garlic cloves, half tablespoon sugar, two tablespoon light soy sauce, three tablespoon and three tablespoon water. Now, I'm going to pass the presentation to Akil. 
Hi, I am Muhammad Akil Raif. My hobby, my I enjoy reading books. I plan to, to Chile plan as part of this project. I use the dry chili seed to plant the plants. After a few weeks, the seed had grown into bigger chili plants. The chilies and give to my mom to use for cooking. Are uh, useful in cooking curries, fried vegetables, and also as decoration. Now I will pass this presentation to Hamizan. Hi, I am Muhammad Ramizan. I like watching TV. I planted onions. As you can see in the photos here, I was so interested in planting these onions as it was new to me. I was able to see the ground of onions and once the plant was big enough, I was able to take them and my mom used the onions for cooking. We need to plant vegetables as part of our food consumption to end zero hunger. That's all from our team. Thank you. Thank you, Priya Dashini, Akhil, and Amizan. Thank you, Teacher Rifa, for the golden opportunity for my students. That's all. Yes. Thank you, Teacher uh, Nirmala, and also Akhil, Amizan, and also Priya. Thank you. Over to you, Miss Helen. Can we move to Chris and Jaden first, Teacher Nirmala? Oh, Chris and Jaden, they, uh, they oh. help. Uh, for the script part, they will be presenting next session. Oh, oh, all right. right. All right. Thank you so much. Next, we move to SDI, Isia Katamara, Teacher Ermi. And we have a... Yes, uh, Miss Helen, Ms. thank Ms. you for giving time for us. And I will share the PPT. Is it feasible? Yes. Sorry. Can you share once more? Okay. Is it feasible now? Yes. Yes. Okay, and it will be start by Ihsan. Ihsan, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead, Ihsan. Eden Garden Activities. Present by Ihsan. Isan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Continue. Okay. Continue, Isan. Then, read Spina on plan A. The color is
and I can pick it for meal. What uh, what I need to plan with the next in planting with next it's well. well I need purple and loose so besides that I also need like quit like quit for Liar. I met my own from met with rice with water and left live for a few weeks with a pair before and he I also is also from let over organic matter what do you want to cook I want cook Kobor bayam merah, coconut milk, fried spinach. Over to Javier. Thank you, Isan. Ma'am, Emily is coming. I'm sorry, ma'am. I think I got a net problem. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's uh, not usual in the weather, rainy weather like today. Okay, so continue to uh, Zafir, I think. Thai Siam. I have planned Thai Siam. I plan it from seeds and it takes around four weeks. I need soil, pot, fertilizer, and water to plant the Thai Siam. First, Prepare the soil that has been mixed with fertilizer. Also, gaff a small hole and put the seed into the hole. I will cook the chap jai. Over to you, Roya. Thank you, Zafir. Water spinach. I plan water spinach. Planting water spinach does not take long. I water it regularly every day, every day. The materials I need are pots, soil mixed with chaff, watering every day. It my, if my water spinach can be cooked, I will cook chah kangkung. Over to you, Rafael. Thank you, Roya. I plan water spinach. The process of growing water spinach. First, provide some polypacks that have been given land. Then make a hole as deep a spulu centimeter ten centimeter ten centimeter then put two ten seats in each hole close the hole slowly so that the girl can stand up straight what I need for planting air, air soil polypack seed. I will cook to Miss Kangkung. Over to Nindi. 
Over to you, Lindy. Thank you, Rafael. I have plan a mustard. Mustard is one kit of kind, kind of the kind of vegetable. I started planting mustard at 16 September 2021. The process to to plant it are first, first I plant the seed on the fertile soil. After that, I always water it. I water I water it the seed once 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 in two days. Besides 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 that, I give for I give fertilizer too. On the next day, the seed grew a third. Then appeared appeared the pot, the, the root, mm -hmm. and trunk. I take care of my plant with love. With with mm -hmm. the mustard, we can cook any rice, any dish, for example, chapai. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Helen, and all of uh, Mem Urifa. That's are from us and thank you. Hey, thank you, guys. Yeah. Now we move to Mama Gia's folder tree. And it's yours. Karuna, ma'am, your students, please. Uh, yeah, please make her the Mama Gia's folder the host. That is how they will be able to share. Okay. You cannot share without. Um, I mean, Mom, would you please to allow participant to share screen? Yes, already, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. some 
salt in this the cumin seeds king for it now i am grinding it Now I am peeling the lupa and cut it. First of all, peeling. Now cut. Okay. We wash the vegetable. Then seeds. Okay. Now add the vegetable vegetable. on it okay we cooked it for 15 minutes start thoda se le le now our vegetable is ready thank you your see vegetable Hi everyone I am Nathak Shodhia from grade 5th Ramagir school Dadri India Garden there are many things like tulsi plant and pomegranate tree peas aloe vera radish and many flowers also thank you we'll take some tulsi leaves for making ordering take a cup of water and boil it and put a half tablespoon of ginger now we will put tulsi plant seeds in it Now we will put two tablespoon, three tablespoon of sugar. We will put two tablespoon of tea leaves or tea seed. we will boil it till then i will show you that now it is boiled properly so we will put a cup of milk and we will keep it for boiling up when it is boiled i will show you now it is made and ready to be poured it is an indian in immunity drink 
इट इज कॉल्ड चाय इन हिंदी और टी इन इंग्लिश इफ यू ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू ग्रो तुलसी प्लांट सो यू डोंट हैव टू गो एनी वेयर प्लीज ओनली टेक तुलसी प्लांट सीड एंड मेक अ होल एंड पुट देम इन इट थैंक यू Hello everyone my name is Manak Bansal I study in grade 4 in Ramagar School Dadri our today's topic is gardening I take a vegetable from my and this is sarso the sag and we are also going to make vegetable of sarso the sag let's make Now we are cutting sarso the sag Now we are boiling sarso the sag Now we add some salt in sarso the sag Now I peeling to garlic to help my mother i have peeled some garlic i have mixed the lesson and we take some flour and lesson of mix and mix mix sarso the sag and we add some flour and then mix and we also add some more flour now we add some asa foil data mummy mummy agar jana phone na de and then we add one spoon of chili and mix up we also made a mixer of lesson then we will add in the sauce of the sag then we will add some hot water then mix we will boil boil it 5 uh, minutes now our sauce of the sag is ready Let's eat it. Wow, it is so yummy. You want it? Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Vidika Chaudhary. I read in third class. Today I am cook to my garden vegetable potato with the help my sister. garden potato vegetables garden this is brinjal brinjal is very healthy food brinjal we cook brinjal today recipe is bring bagan ki kalon ji so let's get started first of all we have to wash the vegetable we have to cut in pieces then second we have to put in garlic paste and we have to add chili and we have to add haldi 
and we have to add coriander and salt according to taste how mix it properly put on the gas add some oil and and warm up and add the brinjal now the brinjal is cooking we have to wait some time now the dish is ready we can this is very tasty and yummy we can eat with chapati and paratha thank you have a nice day Hello, ma'am. My name is Vedik. I am class third. Today I learn about the how to make a make the ginger vegetable. This is my garden vegetable. First, we can we take we take. Cut, cut it tomato and some onion and some green chili. Green chili is very good for the health. We take some oil. We take some oil here and add some cumin seeds. Cumin seeds. some hing first we add the onion cut it onion chop onion chop onion we cook it for some time we cook it for some time Now mix it. Then and then add tomato and mix it. and 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 add the green chili now our vegetable is ready my mama add some coriander leaf to make it more healthy Our brinjal vegetable is ready. Thank you. It's really awesome, uh, Darunamang.
I hope you liked what they have presented and believe you me, these all vegetables are from their gardens. Why? Because they are in a rural area and they have a lot of land where they can grow. And I'll tell them next time they'll share the pictures of their garden, the kitchen garden as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. We love to see the uh, kitchen garden too and how they pick uh, the material of its table from their, their own garden that would be lovely. Yeah, uh, Taruna ma'am, I was coming from uh, Uttarakhand to uh, Delhi. I saw your school. Ah, um, why did you not visit my school? You should have come. Most welcome. Yeah. Okay, over to you, Miss Helen. Thanks. Okay, so. I will give this time to World Way International School, Bhopal MP, to Sandita Mem. Are students ready? Thank you, Ms. Helen, ma'am. Uh, everybody is going to show our videos. Pardon? I will share it, Ms. Helen. So actually, I can download it. So I share by my WhatsApp. Oh, that's okay. Aditya, is Daria a friend? Would you mind to share the sound, teacher Amy? Sorry. Bottle, lady finger, and chippies. Chippies are like this. I tell you how to grow chippies. First, dig the soil and compost it. Then I take some seeds of chippies and I throw in soil. Then I cover with cover with soil. I give water regularly to chippies seeds. Then. Four to five weeks, it grow very well. Chippies are very healthy for our gut. It make we say chippies in our local language chana. Chana is used to make curry, parathas, chaat, sandwich, and many and many things. Ch ch chana are uh, chana are rich in fiber, vitamins, and carbohydrate. Soak, soak chippies and boiled chippies are very healthy for our health. Thank you. Well, I am Samadhi. I am part of the WIS. Good. Today I am going to show you my kitchen garden. So here is my kitchen garden. Where we grow lemon trees, papayas, and we have grown these plants easily at our home. Let me share some benefits of it supports weight loss, it helps with for digestion, and last but not least. Thank you. This is data from grade 4. I study in Worldway International School. Today we are talking about kitchen garden. So let's go. I plant tomatoes, bitter gourds, chilies, and coriander. Now I will tell you the steps to grow the plant. First, take a big pot, then, then fill it with soil and pick up the seed you want to grow. Then cover the seed with soil and water it. In 2-3 weeks, the plant will grow and 
and the vegetables will will come. Now, what what plants need to grow? The plant needs soil, sunlight, and water. Thank you and have a nice day. Hello, my name is Devat Mitra from Worldway International School. And today I will be showing you my kitchen garden. Here we have some okra. Like here. Here we have some tomatoes. A tomato plant. Here is some bitter ground. We also have some plants down there, like brinjal, eggplant, etc. We also have some leafy red lettuce. But the plant I want to talk about today is the turmeric plant. It is antioxidant and anti inflammatory and cancer and Alzheimer. We put this as a spice in our foods every day. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Hello everybody, I am Aditya Kumar and I study in class 50 in World International School. So right now I am in my kitchen garden as you can see. And this is a papaya tree. I love papayas as you know. So Today I'll tell you the story of how I grew these papaya trees. So one day when I was eating a ripe papaya, ripe papaya are eaten as fruits and raw papaya are eaten as vegetables. So one day when I was eating a ripe papaya, I got an idea that I should plant ripe papaya seeds into the soil. So I did the same. And when the papaya tree stopped, I replanted those siblings again on a, dis on a minimum distance of one meter. So, I took a very special care for them. I poured them water. I also added some bio fertilization. Thank you, everyone. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you, Tamam. Even your students share uh, the nutrition fact of the the plants, the vegetables. That's yes. really uh, I got that much uh, information that we have to share uh, this one. Reason we, uh, I was not sure about it. That's why we have not shared. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. At least the students uh, have a, have a confidence to yeah. share the ideas. No, yeah. no wrong, no right, no wrong. So everyone, yeah. everyone is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Offer to you, Miss Ellen. Okay, thank you so much, uh, my international school, for your presentation, for your videos, really great videos. So, we move to the picture of the school. Let me map. Are the students ready? Go for the reading class, not what? Teacher, um, Sylvie. Okay. Ma'am, just uh, hello, ma'am. Can be present because uh, uh, within few minutes uh, our class will start. Only two students are there. Yes, ma'am. Sure, sure. You can do, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Amber, Viraj, are you ready, Vidya? Yes, ma'am. We are ready. So, uh, should we, ma'am, are you there? Yes, I am there. Yeah, just introduce and uh, let them start. Okay, hi, I am uh, Shilpi from TPS. So we are having two students, Amber and Viraj. They're going to show their presentation on how do they work for kitchen garden. So Amber, please go ahead. Good afternoon, everyone. 
I am Emma Papreja, and today I am telling you some. I am answering these questions. First, what vegetable do you plant? I plant potatoes in my terrace garden. How to plant it? For planting potatoes, I have to take a big pot and cover it with fertile soil, and it should be fluffy too. Then rug trenches. In it and saw potato with eyes. Potato with more than one eye, you have to cut it in pieces and let them dry before you can sow it. Cover the potato with soil and water them on daily basis. Place the pot in an area where it receives sunlight seven to eight hours daily. Finally, the potatoes are ready to harvest in three months. Third, what do you need to plant it? We need a big pot with some fertile and fluffy soil with water and sunlight. What do you want to cook with that vegetable? Would you like to share the recipe? Yes, I would like to make French fries from them. Cut long slices of potatoes and wash it multiple times to remove starch. Then pat dry it and deep fry it once. After deep frying, it put it in the freezer for three to four hours and then deep fry it again. After it, After that, when you deep fry it once again, your French fries are ready. So now let's enjoy watching a video how to make French fries. Wow! Great French fries. Would you mind to send the sound or would you present this one? Explain. Okay, okay. Now let's begin. As always, a good recipe starts with a good dry ingredient. For making a perfect French fry, you would be needing potatoes with a low sugar content and higher dry matter. A good choice uh, would be gypsum potatoes. Go for a gypsum one or go for a gypsum three potatoes. These are easily available in your vegetable market. I'm not sure about the nearest supermarket, but I'm very sure about the nearest vegetable market. So go ahead, find this, and we will start picking these now. So here I'm picking and chopping these potatoes. You can also use a French fry cutter if you want to. You can also leave the skin on if you like the flavor. After chopping the potatoes, you have to add them to a bowl full of water and then change the water until it remains clear or the excess uh, surface starch is removed. Now, to stand into some cooking, so what you have to do is heat up a pan with some water. Add in the potatoes. I will three teaspoons of salt. I am using three potatoes, so I am using three teaspoons of salt here. So the high flame of the wind for it to be three minutes up, and all that we wanted from this step is that now from the strain it. Next, I am going to use the same pan, fill it up with water, and we have to add in the French fries again. And now we have to boil this until the French fries are completely soft. Now you might be curious why the glass is rising now that is how it's going to be on the reception. Cleaning out, going to strain this really well, and now we will spread it out in a towel and wait for it to dry completely. It will take about 30 to 45 minutes to dry. You can also place this inside the refrigerator under a pan in the sun or in a oven as well if you want to. Drying the French fries until leathery like this is very important. What this does is this make sure the French fries stay crispy for a longer period of time. Also, make sure this doesn't uh, soak up a lot of oil. We have got some hot oil, now we have to fry them. 
Our French fries are already cooked. All we have to do in this step is to fry until we get a crust. So we have fried for about one minute and the crust is formed. Now we have to get them out. One secret here for you, never let your french fries stay in a tissue paper, always shake them well. They soak up oil only if they are left to set, you have to shake these really well. You can use any sort of colander or a basket like this to shake them really well. Make sure to shake these for at least 30 seconds. And spread this out in a baking tray and don't worry, we don't have to bake the french fries. All we have to do is freeze this for a minimum of 24 hours. After 24 hours, your french fries are ready to fry any time in 12 months. So these have a shelf life in the freezer for about 12 months and you can fry these any time you want to. So you can fry all french fries like this and place this in the freezer. 24 hours in and now french fries are done. You can see how perfect they look. Now what you can do is keep them in a ziplock bag like this for up to 12 months in the freezer if you want to or you can just fry them up any time you want. Let's just put all of these in a ziplock bag and keep them to fry now. Now all you have to do is heat up the oil to high by high I mean very high oil. About 30 seconds in the oil and our french fries are then going to get them out now. The perfect sunny golden color and the perfect texture as well which I can assure you of. Now once again begin the shaking game. And while shaking you can also sprinkle in the oil it is job to make these french fries there. It might be make the bench fry by cutting a potato and frying it down, but if you make it this way, I'm sure the effort will be all worth. And uh, if you see, here yeah, I have the french fries that people fried almost uh, 30 minutes ago and still uh, they hold their shape. They're sort of crispy as well. So this french fry recipe is the perfect. I like to link that in the sauce and in the oat. There's so much to say about this bread. The perfect crispiness from out and the fluffiness inside. Totally amazing. And, uh, the best part is that these things will be like this for at least 15 minutes and they don't get soggy at all. If you know, uh, the perfect French fry is not one which is like that. A perfect fry is one which is not soggy. So, we try to come and share how it goes with you. I can assure you. Price by decorating them with origami. Very nice, Amber. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Now, Viraj, you start your. Yes, ma'am. Hello everyone, I am Viraj Kamal Thakur from Fort Akra. And all new, today's topic is kitchen garden. I want In my kitchen garden, I have planted mint. It is a herbal plant. It can be planted using seeds or propagated through stem cutting. It can be used to add flavor in lemonade. But we largely use it to make mint chutney to have it along with the food. Now, I will show you all a video on how to make mint chutney. Thank you. 
Uh, Ma'am, basically, he is talking about uh, uh, chutney made of mint. Okay, Viraj, just orally speak that thing. In my kitchen garden, I have planted mint. It is a herbal plant. It can be planted using seeds or. It can be used to add flavor in lemonade, but we largely use it to make mint chutney to have it along with the food. Now, thank you. मैं आज खाना नहीं खा रहा ओके थैंक यू सो मच मैम बेसिकली ही वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पाइसी और यू नो सॉल्ट चटनी दिस कॉल्ड चटनी व्हिच वी यूज मोस्टली इंडियन यूज इन देयर वेरी फूड एंड इट इज गुड फॉर हेल्थ आल्सो एम आई राइट करना मैम यस ओके नाउ लेट्स कम टू द कंक्लूशन हाउ टू ग्रो ओके मोस्ट ऑफ चिल्ड्रन ग्रो द वेजिटेबल यूजिंग सीड्स दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल दिस अ जेनरेटिव वन Uh, the, so this in this uh, uh, making seed then we there need a uh, pollination process so once the flowers and pollinate by insects so they will produce seeds so remember that once you spray your vegetable with pesticides or another uh, insecticides it means that you poison yourself poisons your own food right and when you plant vegetable with bulb or cutting stems it will called a uh, vegetative so in a vegetative process there's no need uh, pollination there's no need uh, flower so there's bulb like uh, when you grow onion when you grow potatoes and garlic too so you don't need uh, seeds right and another thing if you want to grow uh, something in mass you can use the tissue culture tissue culture process so That's the conclusion for today's um and for cooking process I think uh, Sangeeta Ma'am, Daruna Ma'am, Nirmala Ma'am is better than me. Thank you so much. Nirmala Ma'am, Karuna Ma'am, Sangeeta Ma'am, are better than me. Yes, Aditya. Okay, over to you, Miss Helen. Oh, ko Aditya boli. Uh, you want to say something? Yeah, I think uh, we are er we are earlier. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Taiwan yeah. is earlier. <laughs> Taiwan is earlier. So sorry today. I I I forgot that. But if I may, I would like to show you the garden. Actually, sure. Yeah, We'd yeah. We love to see your garden. Oh, so sorry. I I missed the session. As okay. just stay, you can share it again teacher we need so good yeah yeah definitely no because because now the garden we are planting some you know planting so, oh, so just yeah. studying yeah so actually today uh, i want to show you the garden you know but maybe i could show you some we did yeah and now they are just uh, you know uh, fertile doing some for the garden to plant some something new seasonal Seasonal oh. vegetable right now. Yes. So let me show you a little bit. Oh, thank you for you know waiting for me. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh. And also, uh, 
Uh, Amy, how how can I call you? How should I? You pronounce yeah. it. The name Amy, teacher Amy. Yeah, you correct pronouncing the name. <laughs> yes. Amy. yes. I'm so sorry. Oh, here. Okay. Actually, do you see the garden here? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So this is a garden. We will plant, you know, something new here. See. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, maybe we will plant some like a, a, a turnip, a tomato, and spring onion. Yeah, yeah, it's like onion. Yeah, this is my school uh, playground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're just next to the playground here. Wow. Over, cool. over there. Yeah, the kids are uh, in my school here. And also, I think I have got some more pictures show. Yeah, here, my school, uh, you know, birds. <laughs> Ah, that's bird. This look like um rare bird. M Malay heron. Yeah, they are planting papaya tree. So we are uh, we in my school we have a banana. Banana. Yeah. Banana. Yeah. And we are waiting papaya. for the papaya tree. Yeah, they plant. So we are waiting for the papaya to get the you know real papaya great <laughs> see wow that's great yeah here actually this papaya is that you know we plan uh, actually we got the papaya exit by accident you know we just uh, want to throw the, the uh, peel of a papaya seed and mm -hmm. then we didn't know that it just you know grow <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, see, you can count. Mm -hmm. We have a many, some of the papaya tree. Mm -hmm. And the other time, the kids just ban out the papaya. Actually, they already got you know flower. So which means that they are going to have a fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here they told me about the papaya flower. Oh yes, yes, that's uh, here. Flowers. The yeah, the papaya tree here is not very tall or big. It just about the height mm -hmm. not very tall here yeah the, actually the we throw the seed in this uh, kind of uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the pot here but it's it will grow big so we just uh, transplant to the garden you see mm. <laughs> they are so you know exciting to see the papaya tree the roots <laughs> oh yeah. Did I see? This is mm -hmm. the first time I also watch uh, I see the papaya roots. <laughs> see the kids. <laughs> That's so exciting. Not, yeah, taller, a little bit taller than him. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are oh and also they Tomatoes. found some what's this? Tomatoes. Oh, oh no, no, no. These, oh, these uh, are tomato, oh, yeah. Warm. They found some. Earth warm, warm, warm and yeah. It, yeah. it will metamorph into uh, insects like uh, what I call this brown one. Yeah, yeah, they found that in in the in the dirt. Yes, they get uh, some you know wheat here there. They plant tomato. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to get some tomato later. <laughs> See, uh, here, they show uh -huh. me this. Yes, yes. That will uh, metamorph into uh, insects. We call this, uh, I don't know what this name, but uh, usually in the rainy season, uh, this will become a complete metamorphosis and they come out from the soil. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. So the process is inside the soil, and when it done, so they'll come out from the soil. Yeah, the girl told me that he, she had the, you know, this. As yeah, a, that's great. Observation, so yes. she is not afraid. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, the pot. This is the uh, the garden on the uh, balcony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is my school 
very green. Ah, okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and also uh, yeah. beer, beer. Yeah, a beer. Yeah, it's a beer. origami, origami, right? Origami. My kids show me how to do that. So maybe I can show you in the future. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sorry, I missed today. Okay, it's okay. Um, Mommy, would you please allow me to share screen? Okay. Okay, Winnie. Um, yes, I conclude the previous discussion how to grow. So some oh. of the students use seeds to grow their vegetables and some also use bulb and oh. cutting stems. So seeds means the generative and this it needs pollination, mm -hmm. pollinate, pollination process. It, it means that it uh, needs male and female parts of the plants, but bulb and cutting stems is called vegetative, which doesn't need a uh, pollination process. So once you spray the vegetable with insecticide, it means not only you poison uh, the insects or kill the insects and you kill or poison your own food. And if you want to have a mast uh, growing, you can do it with the tissue culture process, it, but it's expensive and need long process. So that's the conclusion for today. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I will check that what kind of a vegetable or seeds they are planting. So I will also do some. Uh, spinach, morning glory, uh, mustard, just uh, one month, I think one, uh, three weeks or one month uh, period that they can harvest the vegetables. That's a short time. Oh, so so for this project, your I mean your student actually they they plant the seeds by themselves. Yes. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, in my school, some kids they are also growing mushroom. You know, mushroom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great, mushroom. I like mushroom. I will check with the science teacher first. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you can share, you can share that. Video. Yeah, if they, they have that one, I could share with you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it means if mushroom, it means uh, also it belongs to food that if it's spore. Yeah, spores. In which, in which category? It's uh, between this one. <laughs> Yeah. Because uh, seeds or generative is a, in a complete plant, like there's a flower, there is a pistil, and, but spores, spores like uh, mushroom, they are not produced by uh, uh, what's it, male or female, but yeah, they in between. They become in between, so between generative and vegetative. So is that fungus? Fungus, yeah, fungus. Okay, I would just. That's a different put, kind. They put the you know the the mushroom in a plastic bag, so which mm. means they could carry all the way to yes. put anywhere they want. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And and talking about the vegetable. I want to show you a very scary picture of an ant moving, you know. Oh, yeah. Did I show you before? Not yet, I think. <laughs> wow. I, I also, I forgot, maybe, because I have so many uh, insect films. That's the first time I see so thousands of, uh, okay, maybe hundreds of ants moving, you know. <laughs> so let me check a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Quick moving. That that's you know that's the first time we see. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I want to show you. Oh, that's one. That's the plan. Just the parts in 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 outside my classroom, 
and we just have a typhoon uh, mm -hmm. coming. So we think maybe these ants are, you know, uh, like a shock or scared by this uh, raining, lots of a rain. So they just move, move, move out. See, this is the plot. Mm -hmm. You see the, see, oh. <laughs> the the ants here. Oh, you know, we yes. all. I I was feeling really creepy. <laughs> No, no, that's okay. Uh, so, but you know, lots of uh, my kids, they were very excited because the it's the first time they see. Oh, sorry, I just shaved some. This is the okay. Sorry, the first time they saw lots of ants crawling, marching. Oh, we need. There must be someone. Uh, or the the soil is too acid. That's mm -hmm. why the ant want to come out from the soil. Because yeah. okay. Yeah. See? My my students they are very excited. Oh yeah, because they're curious. That's why yeah. they're so excited See? watching the ants. Thousands of hundred ants. Yeah. <laughs> We, we think that maybe they are, uh, I think some of my kids, maybe they are naughty. They pour some water yes. in, in the pot. So, yeah. so they they just move out. And, you know, after a couple of hours, uh, we went there to check. All the ants were gone. So, oh. so I think maybe they don't live in the pot anymore. <laughs> they just yeah. out to somewhere. They move, they move. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think these are just uh, some picture uh, observation from my school, my campus. Yeah, that's great. We need so we can take a note every every moment with uh, your school area with the mm -hmm. uh, flora or fauna there. Mm -hmm. So you got the green school category. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. Uh, I want to say again that uh, teacher Amy, I'm so sorry. I, I, I lost the time of it. So, so when is the next meeting? Tuesday, next week. Next week? The yes. same time? Yes, on Thursday. Uh, yeah, on Sunday and Saturday. On Saturday. Oh, on Saturday. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I would um, count on teacher Uri. You are my, you know, <laughs> my, my your, your shadow. <laughs> You are my sister. You are my light. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Winnie, for coming and sharing your school. And I hope to see you next week and we'll update the information. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, please. <laughs> okay, thank you, Buemi. Okay. So, I mean, that's all for this session. Thank you for coming. And then we hope we can meet again in on the next meeting. It will be on Saturday at 1 uh, p.m. in Jakarta time. So yeah. thank you for thank you so much, Titer Uri, for giving us the conclusion. Thank you, Taruna Map. Yeah, uh, um, Miss Ellen, but uh, for the minute, because some of participants uh got the difficulty in the thirst to stay but maybe after several meeting on tuesday we will discuss again whether we will uh, have meeting on saturday okay. yeah thank you okay, so thank much you so okay thank you so much dear man yes and thank you teacher helen and Sifa. bye thank you so much thank Wonderful you so much day. bye guys bye bye thank you so bye much bye 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 b